triangles. Basically, we are looking at the relationship between sine and cosine with angles that complement each other. So for the complementary angles, first of all, you are going to check these angles from the table. We start with sine 60. So sine 60 gives us zero point from the table, 0 0.8660. When you look at sine 30, sine 30 gives us 0 0.5000. And then sine 70 gives us 0 0.9397. So we are going to do the same with the cos. So we start with cos 20, which will give us 0 0.9397. And then we will check um, cos 30, which is going to give us 0 0.8660. And finally, cos 60, which is 0 0.500. So you notice that cos 60 is the same as cos 30. So cos 60, sine 60, sorry, sine 60, this one is the same as cos 30. And then you also notice that sine 30 is the same as cos 60 and sine 70 is equal to cos 20. What basically that tells us is that for the complementary angles, for example, x and y, sine x is equal to cos y and cos x is sine y. When you add the cos and sine will get a total of 90 degrees. So this is the, the key thing that you need to put in mind because you can see for sine 60 is equal to cos 30. If you add these two angles, they give you 90. Sine 30 cos 60, this also gives you 90. Sine 70 and cos 20 gives you 90 as well. So let's use that information and calculate these values. So you've been given acute angles alpha and beta. Calculate sign. You're supposed to get the uh, alpha from this equation. So we have sine alpha is equal to cos 33 degrees. We said when you have such kind of complementary angles, they add up to 90. So if you take the alpha plus 33 degrees, you'll get 90 degrees. That tells us that alpha is equal to 90 minus 33. So alpha is going to be 90 minus 33 gives us 57 degrees. Same case with cos beta is equal to uh, sine 3 beta. So we know since they are complementary, they will add up to 90. So beta plus 3 beta angles is equal to 90. So this is the same as 4 beta, which is 90. Divide by 4 both sides. We are going to get 90 divided by 4 gives us 22.5 degrees. So that's the value of beta. So we have been able to answer this question and not really using the mathematical table. So let's do a few more questions. So in the figure below, A, B, is 16 centimeters, AC is 20 centimeters. So you have been told to look for sign, the sign of this angle. So for us to get this value, we need to use the Pythagoras theorem, which is going to be x squared, uh, 20 squared is equal to x squared plus 16 squared. So 20 squared minus 16 squared is equal to x squared. So x is equal to the square root of 20 squared minus 16 squared. So 20 squared will give us 400 minus 16 uh, squared. 16 squared will give us 256. So this will give us 656 square root. So the square root of 
uh, 656 will give us 25.6. So this is going to be 25.6. So sine this angle is going to be opposite, which is uh, 25.6 over hypotenuse, which is 20. So 25.6 divided by 20 will give us 1.28. And then cos of the same of the same angle is going to be adjacent, which is 16 over 20 hypotenuse. So 16 divided by 20 gives us 0 0.8. All right. So finally, we have if A and B are complementary angles and sine A is 4 over 5, find cos B. So we have already been given sine of a which is 4 over 5 so we know that for complementary angles so we know that a plus b will talk to 90 degrees so if you were to look at the right angle triangle for this question and this is our acute angle sine a is usually opposite which is 4 by hypotenuse, which is 5. So we can get this value by using the Pythagoras theorem, which is going to be 5 squared is equal to 4 squared plus x squared, which is x is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 4 squared. This is the square root of 25 plus 16. So 25 plus 16 gives us 41. So we have the square root of 41, which is 6.4. So if we were to look for, this is sine A. If they are complementary, so I uh, made some few corrections. So we said it's opposite of hypotenuse. So it's five squared minus four squared. 25 minus 16 gives us 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Um, so another alternative is when we look at 4 divided by 5, we get a 0 0.8. If we get 0 0.8 from the mathematical tables, we will get uh, 53.1, which will give us 0 0.7997. So the difference will be... Uh, 3, which we get in the 3 column. So this means 53.13 plus B will give us 90. So what about B, which will be 90 minus 53.13. So 90 minus 53.13 gives us 36.87 degrees. So if you were to do the same with this angle, x and b are complementary. So you have been given sine b as 0 0.9975. We can check that from the table, which will give us 85.93 from the mathematical table. So we know that b plus x will give us 90 degrees. So if we have 0 85.93 plus x is equal to 90, it means x will be 90 minus 85.93. So this is going to be 90 minus 85.93, which will give us 4.07 degrees. Last one, we find the acute angle x given that cos x degrees goes to times 2x. So it is x degrees plus 2x degrees is equals to 90. So this is 3x degrees is equals to 90. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So x is equals to by 3, 1 by 3, 30. So x is 30 degrees. So that brings us to the end of the session. You can look out for more relation questions in the same.
at the end uh, at the in the app and also more revision notes on the same so see you in the next lesson